market today. We're off session lows. That's after the major averages notched their best week of the year last week. Let's bring in now Mark Lazary, co-founder, chairman and CEO of Avenue Capital Group. Welcome back. Thank feel like you. I feel like it's been a while since we've discussed the markets. And um, here we are. I mean, do you think the Fed's done? Have we, have we come to the end of this long and winding road? I think we are. I think if they raise its max another quarter point, I mean, I, I think you're pretty much at the end. And now we're all going to wait and see how the economy does. So it's funny. If you talk to anybody, they'll tell you things aren't that great. But if you look at the numbers, the numbers are telling you things are much better. So it's kind of odd. Well, I mean, the people you hang out with, you know, they, <laughs> they generally think, you know, the things, are, the things aren't that great. But, you know, they're still putting money to work. Yes, they are. In, in, in various places, which, which we'll get to. I mean, do you, think, do you think we've seen a peak in interest rates or no? I do. I actually do. I'd, I'd be surprised if the Fed keeps on raising. Um, they only will if they see that the economy um, is still growing at 4%. I think everybody was shocked that it was the fact that the Fed didn't raise because of that actually is really interesting. So that means they're seeing that things are a little bit slowing down. Um, if you're growing at 1% or 2%, that's fine. Then you're not worried. You don't need to keep raising rates. If somebody said this feels kind of like Goldilocks, which you heard after the employment report, how, how would you respond to that? It's like, okay, the Fed's kind of done, economy's hanging in there, labor market's cooling a little bit, unemployment rate ticks up a tenth. Does it sound like that, or is that, is that too far-fetched to suggest? I, I think people believe that. I don't disagree with you. My view is that um, because of where things are, it's going to take a while for the economy to slow down. As it does, I think you're going to have to find the Fed lowering rates to get things going again. But it's fine. Like, if you're flat, up one, down one, it's fine. Um, what the Fed doesn't want is us growing at 4%. How would you assess the job that Jay Powell did or is still doing, right? They're, they're not, he's not standing there declaring victory. Um, but if I would have told you 18 months ago, Fed's going to hike by more than 500 basis points in 18 months, and we're going to be talking about the kind of growth in the economy that we still have, you would have said what? You crazy? Uh, yeah. I would have asked, you know, where are we, uh, what institution are we, <laughs> are we putting you in? Yeah. Because that wouldn't have made any sense. Well, does it make sense to you now how, how we've remained as strong as we have in the face of all that? I'm surprised. I mean, I know, what I know is we're lending money at like 10 to 15 percent. Still. Like, yeah. People are having a hard time borrowing. So there are issues within the economy. If you're a good company, you've got no issues. But if, you're, if you've got a problem here or there, nobody wants to lend. So that's why they're coming to firms like us here and in Europe. So there's issues. And the question is, is that going to get worse? Or will it sort of stay there? I'll be surprised if it doesn't get worse. I hope it stays where it is, as we all do. I've run into a lot of people lately who are in that business. It's one of the hottest areas, private credit, direct lending. Uh, do you see that as well, that more firms and, and people you know who are, you know, competitors in some respects to what you do are, are doing that? I do, but the reason for that is because there's so much demand. Right? No, nobody's coming in, and whoever's coming in is able to lend money. I mean, what we're finding is you've got more and more people who need money and less banks who actually are lending. So that's sort of why you've got this opportunity. Um, the market abhorbs a vacuum. So we're all stepping in. And that's the issue, is banks should be doing this, but they're not. Yeah. What, what's your assessment of the, of the banking system right now? I mean, you know, you, you point, you know, regional banks have been probably the most acute point of concern uh, since Silicon Valley Bank. That seems to, where, to be where a lot of the concern about real estate lies and refinancing and, and the like. What's your assessment there? Look, I think there's massive issues. There are. The problem is, and the way you solve those issues is you just keep extending. So those banks are not selling those loans because the market price for those loans is a lot lower and they'd have to take a bigger hit. So in essence, what they're doing is they're just going to keep extending. And that's how you sort of push the problem off. Um, but if you had to mark to market, yeah. like we all do, you'd have a problem. And the Fed doesn't want that problem, so therefore they'll let the banks keep doing what they're doing. 
What do you do? You, 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 you keep pushing it off in hopes that rates come down and the economy stays strong enough? You hope that rates, as rates come down, right, and that as the economy will start picking back up, if you can push it off for two or three years, you should be okay. But that's what happened in 2008. 2008, 2009, um, if banks had been forced to sell, they were going to go below their capital requirements. The Fed didn't force them to sell, and banks kept pushing it off, and then the economy and lower rates saved them. That's sort of, everybody's hoping the same thing's going to happen again. You think people are making too much of, of a, an apocalypse that's coming in, in real estate, and commercial real estate, or, or no? I mean, it's, I, you've heard that for the last six months, at least. I think they are, just simply because there's no event that's going to force a bank to sell, other than the Fed. And the Fed's not doing that. So if you're not being forced to sell, you're fine. Like, look at your house. If I said to you, your house is worth a certain amount, if I said you got to sell it within 24 hours, you're going to lose money on whatever it's worth because you don't have the time to do it. If I said to you, you have two years, then you have the luxury of time. You can wait. You can listen to offers. That's what's happening on a global scale because none of the money center banks are forcing the regional banks to sell those loans.